So now in this video we're going to talk about parallel capacitors, mostly the dangers of them. So not so dangerous is the basic property that when you put capacitors in parallel you just get the sum of their capacitance. They don't have to be equal value or anything, they just uh, simply add up. And so if you need 1400 to 1500 microfarads for whatever reason, you could combine a 1000 microfarad with the 470 in parallel. Now they may have different voltages that they can handle and they will have the same voltage across them at all times once you connect them in parallel connecting them in parallel can be a danger though we're going to look at that coming up but uh, once they're connected in parallel their voltages are going to be the same so if you raise this capacitor to 15 volts that capacitor will also be 15 volts and if that capacitor's maximum rating is 15 volts that means you can't apply any more voltage to these two capacitors even though that one could hold more if you raise the voltage there you're also going to raise the voltage there and exceed the uh, voltage of that one so ultimately you have the sum of the two capacitance but your maximum voltage will be the maximum voltage of the lowest voltage rated capacitor so now if we have a capacitor that's already charged if it's connected to the power supply it's definitely already charged and we want to attach a capacitor in parallel to that one that is not charged so if it's not connected it's probably not charged but remember capacitors hold voltages so if you charge a capacitor and don't discharge there's a good chance it's holding the full voltage or close to the full voltage that it was charged to but let's assume this one's not charged if we make a direct connection to connect them in parallel you have to on both sides so we can connect the one side just fine, but once we try to connect the other side, the capacitors are going to equalize their voltages uh, instantly. So that means the charged one, if that one's completely uncharged, will pump current into the uncharged one until they have half of the supply voltage. But in this case, the supply is also going to start charging them right away. But in uh, any case, that is instant, and so it's a relatively high amount of current, especially as you have higher value capacitors and they have a larger voltage difference it's going to get worse so if you're working with super capacitors you really have to be careful even at low voltages but in any case we're going to stick with just uh, regular capacitors here which really aren't all that dangerous but still equalize their voltages before you connect them to parallel and a good way to do that is beforehand again you can connect one side or you could connect that side but it's usually better to connect ground first and then you could use a resistor, you know, a fairly high value resistor until they equalize and then you can substitute that resistor with a jumper once they're equalized, no problem. And so here we have the capacitors on the board. I'm going to use 25 volts, 470 microfarad capacitors here. So there's the uh, negative side connected to the negative rail and we got the positive side. So these can actually go up to 50 volts. So we could go higher the supply only goes to 30 volts so there you can see the resistor the positive supply so we discharge this capacitor it's best to discharge it through a resistor but we also added the jumper there and now this one's charged that one's discharged and you can see we had a bright spark right there so now I uh, hooked up the pocket oscilloscope comes to the alligator clips. I clipped them to jumpers so I can easily move them around there. So now we got the voltage across this capacitor right there. We'll zoom in. I have the resistor to discharge it. So I will plug that and to discharge it at a slower current. And now we're going to make the short there. And you can see the voltage instantly jumped up. Each square is 5 volts. 5, 10, 15 since they're equal value capacitors and now it's slowly charging because that was to equalize the capacitor but now they're both charging through that resistor there and uh, they're both charging at that rate right now and of course it's best to discharge through a resistor because you get the same problem if you discharge there so again these are you know relatively low value capacitors and not terribly high voltage so we're not really vaporizing a lot of metal. Every once in a while, this does kind of weld to the metal that I just sparked it with. But uh, it's not terrible. Higher value capacitors and higher value voltages are the real danger. But uh, in any case, hope you 
enjoyed the video make sure you check out one of the other ones i'm posting click like subscribe the bell all that donate to patreon if you can i have links down in the description that helps out the most i will see you in the next video